What is the crack lads and welcome back to this week's player of the week review. We are going to be taking a look at all the players. To be honest, this is probably a very fairly decent uh, player of the player of the week selection. Sorry, lads. Uh, there is a lot of good players in here that you can slot into your squad straight away. But we are going to be taking a look at a couple of GP alternatives. They're standard versions of the cards as well, because there's a couple of very, uh, very decent stats on display for some of these boys here. So we'll kind of skim through the first couple of guys because they're not really going to change the dial again, unless you are a fan of the player or unless you are looking for this specific player in this player of the week or you just you know happen to spin him and not get the player that you want because obviously the pick of the bunch here today I would say is Cancelo, Hernandez, Valverde, Dambele and then probably Paulinho as well he's actually quite decent with some of his stats and Frimpong but the rest of the lads I mean Matip is a good player as well we get to him in a second they're all fairly decent players they've all got high ratings high stats um, but we will go through them one by one and uh, yeah we won't spend too much time on the likes of uh, Miguel. obviously he's got a wavering form but he's got D rating this week which is a bit of a pity and he doesn't have any AI playing skills so that low punt is what you want from a goalkeeper or else you know like penalty saver or some bit of skill um, depending on the rest of his stats like if you are looking for a goalkeeper you do happen to spin him uh, if he was on A4 maybe he'd be worth talking about but to be honest you know that reflex is at 86 is quite high uh, but the fact that you can't train these players I definitely think you need to have 90 plus for your goalkeeping uh, reflex and skills to be totally honest with you so I would say probably like skip if you do get Mingle I don't think he's actually worth it uh, in my honest opinion, if you do get him, I know you can't pick which guys you get here. Next up, we have Frimpong. Now, obviously, this guy is a speed merchant and a speed demon, and all these players have got 90 playstyle proficiency as well. So uh, the fact that this guy is on D again, he will obviously switch that around, um, you know, like later in the season. You would imagine, obviously, that as a 21-year-old, he will be suited for a younger manager and a younger squad if you are trying to, you know, like obviously build that uh, connection between all the players. But again, you don't have to worry about leveling these guys up. So it is kind of, you know, the way that you can just throw him into any squad that you want. But 93 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 balance, really good dribbling stats um, as a kind of a right mid, right wing. Um, he does have 69 defensive awareness as well as 81 aggression, which is quite good for a right sided midfielder. Because if you are playing like a wing back or something and you want him to play right back, he would be a very, very, very good right back. That is where I would play him. And I've featured this guy before. He also has super sub. And then defensively, he's got interception as well as a like a load of um, player skills for like on the ball control as well. So he's a very interesting choice and he would definitely be one of the picks here. Uh, next up, we've got Zeko who apart from his 90 offensive awareness and 86 heading and 87 or 87 heading and 86 finishing again I mean I just don't think that he's going to be worth it for you Lewandowski Haaland um there's a lot of players out there that you could buy um you know Zapata that is quite cheap there's a lot of players out there especially with him on D rating now obviously if you do spin him you know don't just discard him straight away he could be decent for you he's got some really nice player skills but yeah, I mean, he's he's going to struggle again uh, up front, depending on what formation that you play. We've got Dembele, who is in midfield, centre midfielder. This guy is a bit of an intriguing choice this week because he does have some insane stats. And as you see here, he does have standard form on C rating, which is a bit of a pity. But he does have super sub fighting spirit and he has got some really, really nice skills as well. So, I mean, if you were to spin Dembele, and you were to get him as a super sub and you were to get Frimpong and you have Haaland on the bench, you've got three, you know, top class super subs that could come on and change the game for you. This guy, I wouldn't be wouldn't be too unhappy if I do spin him. I will be spinning my ones at the end of this video. I mean, he looks like an absolute monster. Acceleration, kick and power is quite decent. Balance is quite decent. His dribbling, his ball control, his tight possession and low pass, all extremely high. So I definitely think he is somebody to watch as a box-to-box. -box. Very good player. We have got Valverde up. Obviously, we will be heading over to eFootball DB in a second. But just to highlight Valverde, lads, really, really good player. He's on A form. He is probably one of the picks of the week. He's got unwavering form. He's on A player rating. And as he is with Real Madrid and they win most of their games, they're towards the end of the year where they'll probably be competing for leagues and cups and 
championships and all that. Um, this guy is going to be an unbelievable pull if you do get him. I, I've kind of waxed lyrical about Valverde's card uh, for a long time. And this card actually is a right winger. So he can play CMF as well. And he has got the stats that you can slot him in CMF. But using him as a right winger is extremely interesting here because he's got that acceleration. He's got that speed. He's got that dribbling. But he's also got fairly high defensive awareness skills and defensive engagement. So you can kind of defend from the, the, the front. I'm going to be doing a video on a team with really high defensive awareness quite soon and show you if there is a difference in it. So yeah, let me know if you get Valverde and if you have played with his standard card because he is a bit of a beast. Next up, we have got Papega, who, uh, again, the Italian is a very good player, but again, he's not really going to change the dial for you too much. Now, he does have standard form, and he also does have super sub and a lot of uh, player skills that you can, you know, make use of. But yeah, I mean, there's so many different center midfielders that are there for very, very cheap that unless you are an AC Milan or a Papega fan, you're not really going to have him in your squad. That's just my personal opinion. There's literally no standout stat there for him apart from his aggression and his ball control, which you can get on, you know, a player for 50,000 GP. We've got Paulinho, who's in a very similar position. I like this guy. Obviously, he's got a wavering form. He's got super sub. He's got fighting spirit. He's got track back. He's got a lot of nice one-touch pass and true pass and player skills. But again, there's no stat there that really stands out to me that says, yeah, this guy's going to come on and be a game changer. He's too slow for up front. His finishing isn't good enough compared to other players. And as I said, if you spend 30, 40,000 GP, you're going to get a player pretty much as good as him. You don't need to have a high like 90 overall rating because he's got some stats that are a little bit silly. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to be boosting up his defensive engagement if you're training him up. So keep that in mind when you are looking at these players that the, the big overall stat doesn't really tell the whole picture. We've got Matip who is playing for Liverpool. This guy, apart from his physical contact, he does have some nice defensive skills. As you see there, he has a wavering form as well. Sliding tackle, interception, acrobatic clearance, heading, man marking. He is really good in the air. He's obviously really tall. So if you are struggling in the air and you want to get like a kind of a, a tall player that can do a lot of damage for you and contain. But I, I really honestly, lads, if you are looking to win games, you really need to pl be playing, you know, any of any of the, the likes of Koulibaly, Up in Meccano, uh, Van Dijk, Alaba, Rudiger. You need to be playing those guys and any legends that you have as well. I mean, these, you know, Matip, He's a fairly decent player, but I think with the way that Temete is at the moment, you do need better defenders than him, more mobile defenders. Uh, David, ne David Neres, again, he's got some really nice stats. 90 dribbling, 87 acceleration, 86 balance. Looks like a very, very decent winger. Uh, he does not have super sub, which would have been nice for him because he is on A rating, A form this week. Uh, but he has got some nice player skills. So he is definitely one to keep an eye on if you do get him because he does have speeding bullet, trickster and incisive run. And I would definitely like to pull him in and uh, try and try him out. And then we've got the two picks of the agent here, I would say. Hernandez. Hernandez is slightly lesser um op than he was in eFootball 2022 they've made a couple of little you know changes and uh, updates to his cards um and we see here that he does only have standard form um and he does have a lot of uh player skills but he doesn't have blocker uh which i think was a bit of an op is a very op player skill uh but he does have everything else and you know he is a very very good player i think if he had unwavering form he'd be one of the best players in the game and again this guy plays well above his stats, even his standard card, but we will take a look in a second as to like what you can train his standard card up to be because it can go fairly high even comparing him to this card. But yeah, this is probably the pick of it. I think he's one of the better players in eFootball 23. Anytime I come up against him left back or CB, he is an absolute monster to get past. His aggression, his tackling, his awareness, everything is really solid. He seems faster than 80 acceleration, but the way that the game has gone at the moment, you don't really need acceleration more than 78, 77 for your defenders now if they've got a really high defensive awareness. So next up and last up, we have Cancelo, Manchester United, Manchester City's Cancelo. Now, this guy has got some very, very good stats. He's, he's on a wavering form. He's A rating player form this week with the live update. Nice speed, nice acceleration, nice stamina um passing is probably a bit ott but he obviously is playing a pet ball so he is going to have really high passing stats defensively i would have liked to have seen him a little higher just to be able to compete with the likes of Cafu and the likes of uh you know kimmich and a couple of other guys but yeah i mean this guy is 
this guy is a monster lads i've come up against him a couple of times and he is very 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 good and he's very hard to break down so i definitely would check him out if you do happen to spin him now we are actually going to head over to efootballdb.com so i'm going to show you guys here right these these are uh the regular version of these cards so you've got cancelo here who we're looking at and he maxes out at 27 levels he's 450,000 gp but we pretty much have him built the exact same the only thing that this standard card doesn't have is ardo's defensive um the, or the passant that's the only thing he doesn't really have so defensively he's actually nearly identical um he's just like one less and then obviously the speed the acceleration is even higher than his one so he's like one more acceleration to bring up that balance a little bit so we could technically take away a couple of those and put it into defense if we wanted to have that but the passant i think you know is is probably the only one that we would be looking at that we would need to possibly uh, touch up a little bit if we did want to kind of touch it up like there i don't think that there's a point i think any stat over 90 unless it's speed or defensive awareness yeah is really kind of like not needed now that's just my opinion obviously low pass is a big one as well but with the way that the ball is um you know intercepting all the time now and stuff like that there's no point having like 95 uh low pass if you can't you know pass through the passing lanes uh, next up we've got Hernandez who is playing for Bayern Munich obviously we saw him now this standard card is pretty much identical to the one that we just had there the player of the week one I think there's only a couple of differences are the passing and the dribbling but you know strength wise defense wise and speed wise it's pretty much identical so if you do not spin Hernandez and you want to test him out definitely try out his card for 170,000 GP and last but not least, we have Valverde, who I talked about. Now, his standard card is a center midfielder. Um, there was a different version of him as well, a CMF here. He only has seven levels to go, so that overall rating of 100 is not right uh, because he can only go seven levels, and we're at 32 levels with his standard card. But yeah, this guy is the real deal, man. He is a really good player on the ball. He's able to play, um, you know, with his back to the ball. And obviously when he plays one touch, he's able to play like that as well. And he's got a bit of an engine on him and he's got a bit of bite to him when he's uh, intercepting people. So I definitely think check him out, check Hernandez out if you don't spin him. They definitely are worth actually, you know, popping into your squad. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these reviews. I'll be back later. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Peace.